I'm Jess. I'm Scotty. And I'm your host, Dawson. And you're watching On, On the, the Clock. Clock. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Um, today, we're going to be focusing on the NFL Conference Championships. Our matchups are between the 49, 49ers and Eagles, um, and then the Chiefs and the Bengals. Um, some keys here late in the season, obviously home field advantage. You know, that was a big dispute. Um, and then you got injuries. Injuries are going to be big. So, Scotty, do you have the injury report for the 49ers? Uh, yeah, so C uh, CMC did not participate in practice this week. Um, then again, you also have some guys that are kind of limited, like Debo. Uh, Trent Williams did not participate on Wednesday, but um, he's 34. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you get to this kind of this point in the season, you're going to rest some players. Like they know they have two weeks if they win this game, they'll have two weeks until the Super Bowl. But they need everyone at their full strength mm -hmm. for this game, especially. Yeah, uh, CMC obviously saying there's zero chance he's not playing because you know I think he's a he's a huge part of that offense, even though he just arrived there what less than three, four months ago. Um, crazy how much he's become involved. And then Trent Williams is probably one of the top two or three offensive linemen in the game. And at 34, you know, he needs a day off every once in a while. Jace, do you have anything on the Eagles? Uh, yeah, Lane Johnson uh, has been limited in practice all week. Uh, he's been kind of putting off a core muscle surgery that he's probably due to have soon. So he contributed in the Eagles playoff uh, run. So. Hopefully they can make it far, so it's worth it, I guess. But I mean, yeah, no, I think he sat out the last two weeks putting off of the regular season, putting off the surgery, so mm -hmm. he could play in the playoffs. Um, I think it's been like oh, I don't remember, but it's been a really long time since he's given up a sack. Um, but I mean, yeah, then there's Jason Kelsey, Cox, mm -hmm. AJ Brown, Slay, Sweat. I mean, I mean, they're all like really good players. So I mean, they could they, they didn't they, practice, but I mean, it's also probably just resting players, mm -hmm. like you said. Yeah, they were all. I think they were limited. Um, yeah. And that still means they can play on the game in the game on Saturday, yeah. not Saturday, Sunday. Um, but uh, other than that, what do you think are some keys to this game? What do you think Jalen Hurts needs to do to get the Eagles this win here? 49ers Eagles. I think he, he has to be dynamic like he has mm -hmm. been all season. Um, I think he is a few one or two touchdowns away from breaking Cam Newton's uh, rushing touchdown mm -hmm. record, including the playoffs. I think he could get that. Um, and so I think he really just has to stay dynamic in this game and make the 49ers offense not know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. you, you, this is one of the top defenses in the league. One of the two, both of these defenses are really good. But the 49ers defense, you really got to, got to make them, um, that really elite pass rush mm -hmm. they have, oh, yeah. kind of change things up every once in a while. Yeah, right? Nick Bosa, Fred Warner. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're really good defense. Um, but the Eagles, I mean, they have a really good defense of their own. Uh, Darius Slay, Fletcher Cox, uh, Josh Sweat. Um, Who's that linebacker? I can't think of him. Um, but the Eagle, this is probably the two of the best, the two best defenses in the NFC facing off here. Um, Defense wins championships. Right. Okay. And then Brock Purdy, what does he need to do to keep being him, Jace? I mean, Brock Purdy is now on a six-game win streak. I think. I think so. Yeah, six, six or, seven. or seven. So I mean, he's playing really well. I mean, it helps when you have this top-tier defense uh, behind you that can help step up and make plays so he can stay on the field and mm -hmm. keep producing what they need. So, I mean, just him being able to find the open man, get CMC Be involved. Be a manager. Yeah. Get CMC involved if he plays. It says there's zero chance that he doesn't. So, I mean. Yeah, and this is going to be interesting. If he can lead them to a Super Bowl, maybe, hopefully not, but a Super Bowl win, um, is he like Nick Foles and just kind of fades out into the sunset? Or I don't Since he's younger, do you think He'll that – Nick start. Foles was also probably around – He was 34. 30 he was something. 34, 35. So, yeah. I mean, this kid's also 20 23, 24. 23, yeah. So, I mean, he's going to be a young star – Coming up, so I mean, he's not going to be anything like Nick Foles. I think like they Nick keep Foles. him on a tight leash next year. Though. I think he'll. I think he starts next yeah. year, no matter how. I think he took his team to the NFC Championship. I think he starts next year, but I think they keep him on a tight leash and kind of. Mm -hmm. If he loses one or two games, they the, try out. Trey you, Trey Lance. Lance. I don't know. Right now, I don't you know, know if Trey Lance will be back week one. I mean, I'd assume he'd be, but yeah. he might not be one hundred percent. So they might, yeah. you know, he might by default be starter. Um, okay, moving over to the other game, the AFC Championship. You got Chiefs, Bengals. Uh, everybody knows about the Patrick Mahomes injury. Uh, we'll show the clip right here. 
Um, but there are videos surfacing of him jogging at practice, full participant. Um, I think if there was any caution in mind, you know, like, hey, he shouldn't be doing this, he wouldn't even be on the field for practice. I think he's going to be okay. I don't expect um, as many of those rollouts. I think they try to keep him in the pocket and protect him, maybe keep a tight end or a running back end to kind of be his personal protector. But I think he's going to be all right. Yeah, um, they were saying the other day, I saw this. I mean, it, you can't take it. Take it with a grain of salt, but there's this doctor saying he would be around 65, 70% mm -hmm. for this yeah. game. I mean, he won't be a full 100% Patrick Mahomes, and, but he'll be still Patrick Mahomes. A, a Mahomes in the pocket is as scary as ever. Yeah, so. uh, yeah. I'd rather have, <laughs> I love Chad Henney, but I'd rather have a, Pat, Pat, like a Patrick Mahomes who can catch the ball and can't move and just throw it than Henney. Um, I still think that would be a top five quarterback in the NFL. Probably. I mean, and we do have probably four of the five best quarterbacks in the NFLs playing playing this weekend. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know if Josh Allen's in that conversation. He just can't win in the playoffs. I think that's kind of a thing that matters. All right, back on track here. Um, Hardman has been limited um, at practice all week. Uh, he hasn't played in, I think, seven weeks. Um, so we'll see. That could be another level to this. Uh, and then Willie Gay and Jarek McKinnon are all in the uh, on the injury report, but they've been full participants, mm -hmm. full participants Wednesday and Thursday. Um, moving over to the Bengals, the only real like notable one I saw, Hayden Hurst did not practice Wednesday, but was limited Thursday. Could have just been sick. Um, but what are the keys to this game for um, either team? I feel like Chiefs kind of have to. Uh, when we won the Super Bowl a few years ago. We got a run game. We mm -hmm. weren't known as a running team. But we ran the ball. But we ran the ball. And I think you could have made a case for Williams, Damian Williams that year. He should have been Bowl Super Bowl MVP. MVP. I think you could have said he was a Super Bowl MVP. He had two rushing touchdowns that game. Over 100 like, rushing yards. I get like four or five in the playoffs that year. Mm -hmm. um, I think you could have made a case for him winning that. But they gave it to Mahomes, which makes it. I mean, yeah, yeah. But uh, I think that's you got to make yourself known that you can run the ball with Pacheco and McKinnon. Getting out of the backfield, even catching the ball, mm -hmm. and I think it really helps the Chiefs not just be a passing team, because you've seen how teams have defended them in the past few years, knowing that Mahomes wants to drop back and throw it far, mm -hmm. or double double team Kelsey makes or the two deep safeties. The yeah, so I think you got to really change things up and run the ball pretty well. And too. like you're saying, we do have that committee of running backs. I think no, is Clyde on IR? I don't think he's. Yet. Yeah, okay. Well, we have Pacheco, um, Ronald Jones could even step in, and then uh, obviously McKinnon. Um, but Jace, any keys for the Bengals here besides getting uh, Joe Shiesty and that Jamar connection? I mean, yeah, I mean, those two just, I mean, they've beat us three times. I mean, it's hard to beat two people, or them the same time, three times in a row, and they did it. So, I mean, it'll be a tough game, and it's that. KC, so I mean, yeah, those should do need to connect really well. I mean, yeah, but I mean, people like people are starting to call it Burrowhead. That, yeah. I mean, we need we need to get on the board here, bad. Yeah, yeah I think it's one two games at home or and Cincy, and then one. two games or whatever. Well, yeah, he's Patrick Mahomes is zero and three in his career against Joe Burrow. Um, zero and two last year, zero and one this year. Um, yeah, I th I think the uniforms. I don't know what the Chiefs are wearing, but I know the Bengals released that they're going to be in their white with their orange helmets. I was kind of hoping they'd wear the white helmets. Those white helmets are sick. Yeah. Uh, earlier in the year, those. Like yeah, they wore them twice. I wish they would just move to those by default. God, those are sick. All white. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think that's about it. Um, Joe Mixon will probably need to have a big game on the ground because you know they're more of a passing team as well. Um, but we'll be back next Tuesday with the show um, on the Rocket Productions YouTube channel. Go make sure to check out all the other shows. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.